Let's knit eight rows. It is made up of yellow flowers on the main body and green flower jaw. Let's do it with the pink line. You need to use thread, crochet stitch, stitch stitch, mark buckle. Wrap the threader on your pinky finger to the index finger. Hold the tail of the string between your thumb and middle finger. Let's start with a slip knot. Crochet on line. Go around counterclockwise. A crochet hook through a coil. This is a slip knot. Then need to hook 31 braid pins. Let's hook the braid needle first. Hook the wire through the coil. This is a braid pin. Pull the wire through the coil. Two braid pins. One the same braid pins. Four. One through the coil. Five. Braid pins. Pull the wire through the coil. Six. Seven to eight. Nine. 十, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20, 12, 12, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Count the stitches after you've ticked them. Such a V shape is a needle point. Count if the needle is right. It's on the third needle from the last. This is the last the one. And the third. On the third from the last, pick the left side of the needle to hook the long needle. The hook method for our own needle is to wrap the threader on the or crochet on the hook first. and then through the third needle from the last. Hook the thread over. Now we have some coils on our crochet hook. Let's wrap the wire and hook the first two coils. And then wound the thread and then hook the two coils on the crochet hook. So this is a long needle. We hook another long needle in the same needle. Thread the thread through the needle. Pull the wire over the first two coils. And then you wind it and you hook it through the next two Continue coils. Continue onto the next needle inside to also long hook. Needle. The following. All of them are two long needles hooked into a needle head. It's the addition of a long needle. Winding. Through the needle eye, cancel the coil the wire over the first two coils. Wind the wire over the next two coils. Keep winding through two stitches in the same needle head. Hook the thread over to wind the thread. Hook the first two coils. Wind the wire over the next two coils. In the back are two long needles in each head. Winding. Through the first two coils, and then wound it and then threaded it through two coils. A long needle is made by winding the thread once, and then through the needle. The next needle also hooks to long needles. Wind the thread through the needle. Hook the thread over to wind the thread. Okay, let's move Do the on. same thing for the entire circle. And then after that, 56 long needle. Winding. Continue to 
Hook needle. After you hook it, you have 56 long needles. It's like this. It's going to be rolled up like this. Turn this weave over. It looks like this one is flipped over. And then we flip it over and restart. Count the stitches. This is the first stitch. E. Looking at V like this is a stitch. We empty two stitches from here. Empty E needle. Empty two stitches and hook eight long stitches at this point in first the winding. first stitch. Pass through the eye of the third needle. Hook the thread over to wind the thread. Take the first two coins. Wind the tip over the next two coins. So this is a long needle. Eight long needles should be hooked into the winding. same needle head. Through the needle eye. Winding. Three. Four. Five. Six. Pull the seven hook ba long needles. You can count R Si Liu Ba Ba Long Needles and then the same two empty shots. Hook a draw needle here on the third stage. Hook it over and continue to hook it over the crochet. So this is a pull pin. Then two empty shots. Hook ba long needles into the third needle. One, two, three, eight long needles in the third Winning. needle. Through the needle eye. Hook the thread over to wind the thread. A long needle. Thread it through the needle. Continue to two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. All right. So here we have eight again long two empty hooked. stitches. Hook a draw needle here on the third stitch. Each set of hook draw pin. Each set is filled with two empty stitches. Hook eight long stitches in the third and stitch. And then two more empty hook shots. dropping. And on to the next set. Every group is the same. Empty two hooks. Hook ba long stitches inside the third stitch. Hook it over and continue to hook ba long needles in this manner. There are two empty stitches here hook in the dropping. third stitch. This is our last position. Empty two in the third. We need Shi long stitches in this position. Winding through the needle eye. Winding two. Three, four, 
five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Shi. 拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉开门，拉它是 basically one when it comes in the shape of a small rose. The details need to be adjusted. Let's adjust this place. First, fold it in half. After folded in half, we put this thread on with a suture needle. After folded in half, let's take this tail and put it on the corresponding side. Go inside this needle and bring it here. Start wrapping the middle again. Continue to wrap. And then we are going to wear this. This place through the final spot for him to just cross. fix it. Continue to wrap. You can put it on this side again. Come through. Come through this way. This will keep him in place so he doesn't fall apart. Continue to wrap. It goes through the same place. Through this place, we need to put the other side on as well. Thread it on the middle. Put it on this side again. To wear a. So it's kind of fixed in the middle. Adjust the. Then we put the suture needle on the outer thread. It goes through here at the bottom, and then it goes through here in the middle. Put a little bit of pressure on the side here. Let's sew it up and keep it in place. To wear it, go in a little bit to the side. Thread the end from the middle position. Pull out. We put these two wires at the bottom. Tie a tight knot. The body of the little rose is ready. Now to crochet the part of the calyx. Take the green thread and crochet the calyx. First winding. The thread runs from the little thumb to the index finger. Make another looper on your middle finger. Hold it with your thumb. It starts with a standing pin. The crochet needle goes through the loop where it's it the coil on the middle finger, and then winding. Take to come over, and then you wind it and you hook it back so you have a standing pin. Then hook five short needles. 
through the hoop of the needle. Hook the line, hook it over. The thread is wound through the two coils of the crochet hook. So that's the first short stitch. Continue to hook through the loop. Hook the line over and wind it through both coils. The third needle passes through the hook hook the loop. thread over and wind the thread. That's three stitches. Through the needle loop, hook the thread to wind. Hook a coil. Through the loop of the needle, the hook is wound and threaded through both coils. Five short needles and your end. And run. then we pull the end of the line. Pull the coil tight. And then we need the thumb. Hook a drawn needle here for the first stitch. Let it form a ring like this. This needle through the first needle. Hook the line out. And hook the coil on the crochet hook. Pull tight. Another standing pin on the second lap. Pull the wire through the coil. That's a standing pin. Next, we need to work on each. Two short needles are drawn into the needle head of it's a the short needle of a short at needle. the point where the needle was hooked. Hook two more short needles inside through the Hook needle. Hook the thread over to wind the thread through the coil and through the coil. Continue to hook a short needle into the same needle. Pull the thread through the needle. Hook both coils together. The next needle in the same hook to short needle. Thread the thread through the needle. Hook both coils together. Through the needle eye. Cancel the winding. Continue to hook two short stitches into each head. So this circle is going to be Shi short piece. It is also drawing needle with the first stitch. Through the needle eye, hook the thread over through this coil on the crochet hook. So that's the second circle. On the third lap, we start to hook this. This is what I need. Let's hook a lock pin first. A braid pin. This way. We're gonna hook five braid pins. Turn this the wire braid on, pin. twirling the wire on two, three or four, five, Wu braid pin. Pick the needle at the second to last stitch. Pick one side of the needle. Hook a short needle through the needle eye. Hook the thread over. Wind the wire E and hook through both coils. This is a short needle. Hook a medium long needle into the next needle. For medium and long needles, the thread and then is through one the needle. Come back to check again. Now there are three coils on the crochet hook. We want the wire and hooked three coils together. The next stitch is also a medium long stitch. Wind the thread through the needle. Hook the thread over. The wire is wound through all three coils. In the next needle order, we hook a long needle. A long needle is wound first, and then through the needle. Hook the thread over. Now I have three coils on my Let's crochet hook. Let's wind through the first two coils. Rewind the wire like this, and then through the next two coils. This is the first stitch. Let's empty the second needle. Hook a drawn needle into the third stitch. Crochet through the thread. The third needle is hooked. Keep going through this loop on the crochet. Wu braid pin. I want the wire to get one, two, three, four, five, five braid pins. 
Also in the penultimate stage. Hook a short needle. Here the penultimate needle goes through the needle. Hook the thread over. The winding wire is hooked together. Hook a medium long needle into the next needle. Wind the thread through the needle. Hook the thread over. The wire is wound through three coils. The next needle is also a medium length Winding. needle. Hook the thread over. Coil through some coils at the same time. The next needle hooks around needle for winding through the needle eye. Hook the thread over. Coil the wire over the first two Wrap coils and hook the next two coils. This is also an empty needle inside the next to each. Hook dropping. Press through the needle. Hook over and continue through the loop on the crochet. Then continue to hook five braid pins. Repeat the steps and stitch. And finally here end the first hook stitch. dropping. And that completes the flower jaw. Then pull up the coil. The line end. The section line bolt. The flower jaw is hooked in place. Once we've hooked this one, we need to check it, it in here. Use a stitch or crochet. Run a needle through it. Go through here. Hide one more line. The line here. You can hide in the middle of it. Or you can pull it from the center to the bottom. In the bottom. This is a flower jaw. Adjust it a little bit, then take the two threads under this flower. Through the heart of the flower jaw. You can hook it with a stitch or a crochet hook. Put on the suture needle. It goes through here in the middle. Pull. And you have a little rose. 